Hello guys, this is Alexandre from Arador Studio. I'm happy today to share with you this uh, new brush rig that I've made. Um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, available here on my website uh, under the learn section. You will find, uh, it's not there yet, but it's gonna appear on top. You will find there uh, some of the uh, free rig and tutorial about modeling, rigging and uh, 3D. So uh, feel free to uh, download these, it's all free. But uh, if you are uh, art speak and you want to donate, uh, it's gonna only help me to uh, create more of this stuff. And uh, yeah, so uh, feel free to do that. And uh, uh, also there is uh, my YouTube channel here. You can, you're gonna find uh, tutorials and uh, LinkedIn, the LinkedIn page of uh, Renault Studio, you can uh, subscribe there too, uh, follow, sorry, Facebook, and uh, there is my Instagram here, that uh, also I uh, post some uh, artwork that I made and uh, sketch and animation, exploration and all kind of stuff. So there you go, let's start with this. So just before we start, um, I'm gonna, uh, it's it's all free, but uh, I want you to uh, credit uh, an also do if you use it in uh, any of your projects. So the, this is the only condition. Uh, you're gonna find a readme text uh, here on the, uh, when you're gonna download the the zip file here. If you unzip it, you will find all these uh, file here. The readme explain. Uh, uh, the condition it's only to add uh, this credit to you, your uh, project and you can use it for free and uh, also there is an installation uh, yeah if you unzip it's gonna open uh, release all these files so the installation uh, it's only for the, um, the replace collider uh, script so you can uh, instead of a plane that the, the brush is uh, uh, slide along uh, you can uh, replace it for any kind of geometry so you, you just follow this and uh, very, very uh, straightforward and, and easy so there you go uh, there are gonna be a Maya uh, MB file and the replace collider script here so I've made um, a shelf button for this uh, replace com uh, collider button here so when you open the scene, it's open like this, and uh, it's already worked straight uh, from the start. But uh, if you want to, to replace the shape, uh, you're gonna create the shelf and uh, add the script. So uh, what you can do is, uh, oh, it's also uh, scalable, so you can uh, scale it uh, uh, as you want, still work. Uh, also, uh, if you want, you can uh, modify the um, the shape of the of the tip. Here, you can just scale the um, the controller here. Scale here also. And uh, if you want to, uh, also. Um, you can have you you have his, uh, these two options here in the channel box. There is the flatten brush option, so it's flattened also the 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 part here of the of the handle, so you can have a, a better uh, uh, more realistic uh, shape. So um, also um, there is a if I I scale this up and I I go back here in the the main controller there is the tip angle so you can give an angle to your brush so because some of uh, of brushes have uh, this kind of shape so you have this option uh, yeah, you can reshape it. Uh, as you want. Also, I'm just gonna reset this. Okay. Also, if you want to see how the replace collider work, uh, just create a. I have one here. So there is a. 
there's a, a sphere here so right now it's only work on the ground but if I select the sphere and replace collider now it's gonna work uh, on the sphere So yeah, uh, maybe in the f uh, further update, uh, there are gonna be uh, you're gonna be able to to have multiple geometry, but right now it's only work on one at a time. So, but I think uh, it's enough for you guys to. And if you want, I think you can uh, like combine geometry and make one geometry, so you can follow the surface of both together. But it needs to be one one single object. So there we go. So right now, uh, yeah, it, uh, fall back the ground. Okay. What else? Uh, yeah. If you want to see, and I'm gonna go a bit more in uh, on how it work uh, technically. So if you want to go ahead and animate, uh, forget this part and uh, enjoy. <laughs> but uh, for the rigging guys that want to know how it work, uh, I'm gonna show you now. So uh, basically, um, uh, if I hide the geometry here, uh, not this, but uh, the uh, the brush geometry, uh, you see there is a curve here, and uh, this curve, uh, and there is a locator. So um, if I go, uh, you're gonna see the effect. Uh, you see the curve, um, the locator uh, are uh, there is like cluster on the curve. I'm gonna show you. Oh uh, yeah, there. So basically, the the geometry is deformed by this curve. This curve is uh, is mesh driven by a curve warp, and um, and also those locator are. Uh, are driven uh, the uh, the collide effect is driven by the bifrost uh, here uh, bifrost graph. So if I go hidden here and uh, you're gonna see uh, here uh, there is three um, position of the, those three locator here. I, I build an area of these uh, position. And constr uh, construct a mesh from this point because this tag geometry only takes geometry in. So I've created a, an array and build a, a mesh, but it's not really a mesh, but it, that's what it helped with here. And uh, the collider is the surface mesh of the, the of the plane here, bounding geometry. And uh, yet this tag geometry, a uh, tag point that are uh, inside the the mesh of the plane. So, so basically those three uh, locator, when they are inside, they, they are tagged, and I get this point position from this, and it's great. Uh, uh, and you get the closest location from the at the time when they they hit the geometry. They they gonna get the closest location, so they are always gonna follow the surface, uh, the closest of where they were at the, uh, right now. I know I know I'm not explaining correctly, but I <laughs> I hope you will get it. And uh, then I um, I get from array, so uh, basically uh, it's getting uh, the the position back. Uh, to the uh, new locator, uh, the controller. So uh, yeah, so that's how it deform. And then uh, there is also another bifrost graph that uh, allow the because if you see here, uh, yeah. So the first deformation here. Uh, you you want you gonna see the the geometry is is going uh, inside because there is like two part of this deformation there is the one that uh, the the curve get deformed 
and then there is the the part where uh, the geometry uh, is colliding to the surface so this one is uh, going inside but if you see the bifrost uh, geometry here and you see the tagged geometry that that goes inside so that's it that's the effect and uh, there's a brush out so you can uh, you can better visualize I had uh, the, like a shader on it and uh, there is also the um, a brush render where the UVs are good and you can uh, you can texture this. Uh, I did not uh, put this texture in the file, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, forward texture. It's like uh, stripes and uh, a little bit of noise. But uh, I'm sh pretty sure you're gonna do some crazy stuff. So there you go. Uh, if hey, sorry, I forget to show you. Um, also, there is uh, one thing that I, I did not show you is uh, all the volume is get preserved when it hit uh, the, the ground, it, there is a, like a, a lattice here. So the lattice uh, effect, uh, the envelope of the lattice is, uh, it dri is driven by the distance between uh, the locator where it hits and the locator where it is uh, here in position. So uh, it, it's there is a like a get distance between those two uh, locator that drive the the lattice here uh, if i go in the here you see it's driving oh, sorry if i copy the tab here and i take this you're gonna see you see the envelope uh, get uh, uh, Activated and there is a clamp at two. So there you go. That was uh, the thing that I that I did not show you. So let's see if I don't uh, forget anything. But uh, I don't think so. So there you go. If you have any question, any comments, uh, uh, doesn't uh, don't hesitate to ask, and uh, uh, you can ask uh, anywhere on the social media that I've point out uh, at the start. So, um, so yeah, subscribe, like, and share, and uh, there you have it. Enjoy, ciao.